cut winners if Congress can pass a capital gains tax cut and reduce some of the red tape businesses now face. They may not agree with all the provisions in the Republican contract with America, but the founders of Main Street Muffins here in Akron have found some things to like. The main thing is the uh, loosening up of, of regulation and making government smaller, I think, will, will eventually benefit businesses because of the red tape factor, and it's just costly to, to take that, care of part of that part of the business to take care of it. Good and the stuff that makes sense is fine, but a lot of stuff is just repeat and uh, it seems like people are making decisions and they're not really out there seeing what's going on and the decisions are made and when you have to really enforce them, they just sometimes don't make sense. But. The capital gains tax cut also sounds good to many individual investors too. So let's say that you own uh, 100 shares of, of IBM and you hold that for over a year and you sell it with a gain, you would only owe 28 percent on that gain. With a capital gains tax cut, you may now only pay 10 percent on that tax, and, uh, on that gain instead of 28 percent. So it's an attempt to get people to invest in America, to hold things for a longer period of time, to put their money in capital plant equipment. Carr says historically a capital gains tax cut has worked to stimulate investment and the creation of jobs. Other bills in the contract are designed to help families. There's a tax credit of $500 per child for families with incomes under $200,000 a year and a credit for those who care for a parent or grandparent at home. The contract would also impose term limits on legislators and guaranteed a balanced budget. There are certain elements of a contract that are immensely popular. They're popular with Democrats and liberals as well as Republicans and conservatives. And so I think that uh, people will be very enthusiastic, at least in the short run, about some elements of it. Uh, the balanced budget's a good example. You know, longer term, when the costs of these things start to weigh in, people may change their minds. Now, of course, we're likely to hear much debate in the coming days about the long-term effects of all these individual bills and maybe a counterproposal from the Democrats. One thing's for sure, now that the Republicans have control of the Congress, they don't want to lose it, and they feel that these changes are things that the voters are asking for, and they definitely want to come through with those. Thanks, Joanna. In other